this a live stream? Yeah, it is. It is. Thank you. Yeah. What is your child about Which child? Uh, both. Say to me? Yeah. <laughs> they like. They really. What keep you all private? Oh, you need to 
Pete, do you want to take this over? Alright, good job, man. Things that um, I understand 
because I've been a police officer for a long time, but there's a lot of new things when you're the boss and you're in a new situation that I still have to learn, still have to be better at, and still have to uh, figure some things out. You know, how to um, do some of the more public relation issues and things like that. I never had to do that when I was a police officer working the street. Now I tend to have to do that. It's a little new, but I'm learning and hopefully doing a decent job. What is your favorite part about being a police chief? Clearly the silly spring and in the flash mobs. Um, it is like this. Um, I came from a fairly large community, and although we were out in the community quite often, you didn't get the personal experience. You didn't see the same faces over and over and over again. And um, you know, now I walk through town, and every now and then kids come up to me, parents come up to me, they know me, they say hello. Um, I'm very much enjoying the, the, the village vibe of all of this and just the, uh, the opportunity to sort of get to know people. Where did you grow up as a child? How did you like it then? For, for the old people who've been around for a while, there's Mad River Township, which is the area around the uh, Wright Pass Air Force Museum, just in the Montgomery County. I went to Seville School, Seville Elementary. I uh, graduated from Stubbins way back in 1981. And um, I felt I got, had a great time, enjoyed being a kid, enjoyed my neighborhood. I thought I got a very good education through the high school. Um, you guys can learn a whole lot if you put your minds and effort into it. That's true. What are your goals for Yellow Springs in the how would those help our community? Um, I'd love to create the most professional police department we can have. Um, I believe that we make this a very professional police department that my officers will stay, that if they stay, then they will get to know the community, the community knows them. I hear a lot of people saying they want to know the officers better, but I've got five officers, some will work work evenings and midnights who've been here only a year or less. And it's hard to sort of know those people. If I can keep them here for seven, eight years or a career, um, I'd be very happy. I'd like to, when I get done with this job, then to be able to find a chief of police from inside our department. That would make me very happy. And I think it would help the community. What is your favorite part of the YS school? This is probably one of the areas I need to be better at and need to understand better. Um, I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. I'm not, I, I probably should push myself to um, be, be out there a little more. Um, I enjoy it, but I really, it's so hard when you don't know how things operate to sort of um, be in the middle of it. Uh, after going through um, field day yesterday, when you guys did field day, Next year, I'd like to volunteer. Instead of being there as an observer, I'd like to volunteer and maybe help run the event. But I think that would be more fun and a little more engaging for me instead of just being there as an observer. That would be really cool. What has been the happiest moment in your life and the saddest? Um, the happiest, I'd say the thing I'm probably most proud of, I have two kids. Uh, one is 21, one will be 20 shortly. They both are attending Ohio University. They both are very good young adults, both very responsible, contributing people to the community. Um, that makes me very, very proud. Um, and the saddest is probably, I may choke up a little bit, forgive me. Um, I had an older brother who was three years older than me, who I lost when he was 34. And um, after a long fight, that was pretty tough. Thank you for so much for taking your time today. <clears throat> All right, hope to see you around town. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Hale. Welcome to the community, and may your time here be rewarding. School picture. Thank you.
The school picnic is tomorrow, along with the sixth grade clap out. The clap out begins at 12.30 as there is early dismissal tomorrow. And then summer vacation arrives with bang. Today's lunch choice is, is cheese pizza, cheese sandwich, and a side of corner fruit. And now here is our music teacher, Mr. Mayor. Good morning, Mills on School. I have one quick reminder for all fourth graders. Uh, tomorrow, or no, this evening at seven o'clock in the sixth grade classrooms, we are gonna have an instrument tryout night. Uh, you'll get a chance to come and make sound and handle the instruments that you'll be using next year in band or orchestra class. So please remind Thank you. 